Hello again, my friends. This is Kanita, back on the road again. And as always, I greet you warmly in the name of our risen Lord, Yeshua, Almighty God. And I welcome you back to the podcast. I think just a short message tonight. There's something I want to uh, speak about that happened earlier this week. Well, it's about uh, going on 10 o'clock here. I'm still about 20 miles out on 70, Interstate 70, heading west, uh, or heading east, rather, heading for home, back to the barn. Been a long round, but it's been an absolutely glorious day. I love being out in uh, God's creation. I can worship God and pray and speak with Him all day long. And sometimes He speaks with me, and that's what I want to talk to you about here. And, and it, it won't last long. You know, nothing I, I ever say seems to last very long. <laughs> but I do want to praise God. Praise God for an absolutely marvelous day. Did you ever have one of those days, my friends, where you just, the joy of the Lord just bubbled up in you to where you, you just wanted to bust out in song? <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you, I promise, but I've been doing it most of the day. It's been that kind of day. Uh, just a glorious day of worship, riding along in the uh, in the van here. What makes it even even sweeter is, I suppose, if you think about it, is uh, <laughs> I'm getting paid to do it. Well, how does it get any better than that for an old guy? I guess it just doesn't. Life with God is, is good, my friends. Life with God is very good. We all know that. I'm not telling you anything you didn't know. Because it's so good. We instinctively, by the leading of the Spirit within us, try and share that goodness and that wealth and that abundance that we possess in our knowledge of the risen Lord. In our heaven been washed in His blood. And so we we go to share, and, and as we share with our friends, we find indifference, we find uh, some hostility, even a little antagonism sometimes, uh, find some skepticism, a lot of skepticism. And so we, we cry the louder so that people can hear. In my own life, I do this. I, I speak to friends and, and, and I get rebuffed and so I speak to more friends because the drive within me to share that which we possess in common with Almighty God, that drive is so overwhelming that we cannot stop for long. And so we're back out and, and, and we're talking to more people and I know I'm this way and 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 I get rebuffed and sometimes sometimes responses quite frankly puzzle me I, I spoke to a man who uh, who's a good friend he goes to church almost every week you know what his response was his response was uh, Charles you know you can take this religion and God thing too seriously you know as I'm sitting next to Henry, I just kind of nod, you know, I don't say anything. But in my spirit, I'm crying out, my God, how can somebody say something like that when they're dealing with their eternal soul? And we all go through this as we try and reach those that we love and we find that those who we're closest to are the ones who can turn us off the easiest and because they turn us off when we're being so earnest and we care so much it hurts deeply and after we get turned off we we kind of wander away and we feel sorry for ourselves like we've been kicked in the teeth and rejected like we were Like we were spitting into the wind. Like we were the carny barker in the dead of winter. 
screaming and nobody hearing them. And so we go aside to lick our wounds. Feel sorry for ourselves for a little while, I guess. Seek more strength. And then we come to remember the urgency of the moment and what it is we are here to do and before you know it we're up and back at it again. And it seems like a uncontrollable cycle. And it always consternates me because I feel so guilty for the times when I'm not doing anything and so inadequate for the times when I am and it seems like I get no response. I'm saying all this in the way of leading up to a, a vision God gave me the other day. It really helped me deal with this. And so I thought maybe I'd share it with you. I was sitting at the computer and as flash visions come on to me sometimes this came on and, and and I saw a gray fox. A gray fox out running in the field. And he was running in circles and he was going back and forth and he was yelping at the at the loudest he could yelp. And all the creatures sat around and looked at him. And nobody responded and nobody moved. And so he would run to a different area and yelp even louder. And then to another place. Yet nobody was stirred because they hadn't seen what he had seen. They didn't know what he knew. And as he went everywhere and yelped, he finally got disillusioned. And he went off under a tree and he laid down and he whimpered for about 10 minutes. And then he, all of a sudden he got up with a start, with a jerk. And he started all over again. And this pattern confused me because I had not yet had it revealed to me what I had already spoken to you. I guess that's kind of an awkward way to put it. I, let me slow down a little bit. I'm right behind, right next to a semi and it's kind of got me distracted here. Let me slow down let him go right on by. I hope it didn't make too much noise for you. Sometimes when I get talking I forget who's going on around me. But anyway, the pattern puzzled me. I couldn't quite understand what was going on. And then in the vision, the scene broadened. And I could see what the fox saw. I could see what the fox knew and feared. For off about a mile in the distance in the field, in the very early part of the field, the very beginning, the reaper machines had started their run. And the fox had seen this. And he knew what was coming and he was running to tell everyone what he knew. But since the others didn't know this, nobody listened. And then it was made known to me, my friends, that we are the great fox. That is why we are here to let them know. If you will listen, if you will hear, and we will grow weary of screaming, we will grow weary of shouting, but the task is laid out before us, and the mission is clear. And you say, I don't know what to teach, I don't know what to say. I say, my friends, if you know the living God, as I know the living God, if you have seen in your spirit our Lord crucified and resurrected, if you have walked through the blood into the Holy of Holies to be slain upon the altar, then this is what you know, and this is what you teach, as we all do. Each one of us, my friends, is a unique gray fox unto God. It's 
says so in Revelation. Each one of us has a name known only to God and to us. What this means for us in this world is that each of us has an attachment to God that is fully unique. And that each of us has a vision of God that is therefore also fully unique. There are things you can teach, things you can share that no one else can do. We are those foxes. And yet how many of us have laid down to whimper because of all the rejection? My friends, take heart. We must tell what we know or we will die. It's simply that, that simple. If you are called to be one of his lambs, you must share that which is most important to you. I mean, it is an old axiom. What you have deep within your heart, you cannot keep off of your tongue. Excuse me for just a minute there. I again lost focus. I had somebody swapping lanes right in front of me here. It's kind of crowded out. I'm going near a shopping area and of course this time of year they're all abuzz with activity. Uh, well my friends, what I wanted to share was the vision and what he shared with me. Draw your strength from the Lord. When you came into the altar to be slain on the altar with Almighty God, as all of us were, you were sent back out with a word and a mission. The word from Almighty God, my friends, is as with the great box. It is time now, my friends, to be about your mission the reapers are surely at the door. I'll be back later to talk about the music. I'm starting to get into uh, get into town here now. I want to probably get off uh, my friends have an absolutely wonderful evening in the Lord. Life is good when you walk with God. Amen. Good night, my friends. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Until the next time, my friends. Have a wonderful evening in our, in our risen Lord. Amen and good night.